welcome back, guys. We're headed to in two miles. Knox, left on Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, we was invited to come down to a warehouse full of solar equipment, solar panels, and batteries, and so that's where we're headed. Inverters. Yeah, inverters. Um, I'm gonna go. They said we come down and do a tour of the uh, a tour of the warehouse. He's he sells currently like on marketplace and stuff like that on facebook and stuff like that uh, i'll leave his contact information in there and all that but um he has thousands and thousands of solar panels anything you want uh charge controllers like she was saying inverters all in ones batteries lithium ion batteries anything you want solar wise he has it so we're on our way there now um we're gonna go check it out See you, we'll pick you up as soon as we get there. All right, this is, uh, I'm Jay Granite, and uh, this is our warehouse full of solar equipment for DIYers and small contractors in the southeastern United States. We're here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, so we have a lot of both new and used solar panels in here. As you can see, we've got anything from a 220 watt 220 watt shukos that we sell for 50 bucks a piece or if you're buying a whole pallet of them uh that was what you sell a pallet for 11 20 ends up being 45 dollars a solar panel and we've got a lot of those uh but we've got a lot of new panels as well uh we've got uh bifacials these are byd 530s and for those of you who don't know what a bifacial is, that's what all the big solar farm developers are using now. What they do is they do a ground mount, and some of you people have driven past these solar farms along the highway. They do a ground mount, and it's off, the, and they've got a southern tilt. And uh, what they usually do these days is they'll lay down some light gravel underneath to up the reflection. Because when they say that this is a 530 watt, they mean it's 530 watts on the face. The backside can add more watts. And so they up the reflection by putting down some light gravel and uh, they'll get another 12, 15, 20%. Depends on, you know, the weather and the, the you know, which, where the sun is, et cetera, et cetera. But they'll get more power out of a panel than what the face is. So bifacials have become the rule in the big solar farms now. That's pretty much what the vast majority of them buy now. So uh, we have multiple sizes and brands of bifacials. That's the BYD. Uh, let's see, this is the big one. This is the 650 watt bifacial. You want to help me pull one out here? Want to pause it? Now I'm going to pull it out and we're going to put it up against this. That's a big old panel. Yeah, it is a big panel. It's basically a sheet of plywood. Yeah. yeah. It's like a whole body, isn't it? All right. <laughs> so there it is. That's the face of it. That's the back of it. Uh, these are bifacials. 650 watt is what a lot of the big solar farms are buying now. And we just happened to catch one of those. Uh, that had 13 extra pallets that they didn't need and weren't going to fit on the truck. So my partner bought them, brought them here. So I, as far as I understand, we're the first uh, DIYer warehouse in the United States to be offering 650 watt panels to the public. Now again, 650 is just measuring the face. They don't rate the back because they don't know how you're going to mount them. If you're going to lay it flat on a roof, you're not going to get anything off the back. If you're going to do like what the big solar farms do and put it, you know, southward tilt up off the ground so it can catch some reflection off the back, you'll get more. A uh, solar developer, a friend of mine in Oregon, his name's Stephen Gates, he brought in the first bifacial Canadian solar panels uh, back, oh gosh, was that five years ago or six years ago? It was several years ago. 10 megawatts. And he built a solar farm in Oregon. And I've actually got a picture of it. <laughs> Okay, so he built a solar farm, a big solar farm in Oregon, and um, 
his son actually said, hey dad, why don't we do a little experiment uh, and I can use it as a class project. What was that? Let's lay down some white plastic underneath half the array and leave the other half array just dirt and grass and each side is on its own inverter. So let's see how different the production is. He said, that's a good idea, son. And so they built it. I have to dig up the photo. I have it in this phone. Uh, or I can send it to you if you wanted to post it. And uh, you can see in the photo from the back of this big solar farm, the left side is all has the white plastic underneath the panels and the right side is just all dirt and grass. The left side, after the first month, they looked at it and it's making 12% more power than the right side. Everything else is identical. So, and now, the right side was also making power from the back, but obviously dirt and grass isn't as reflective as white plastic. White plastic's kind of like snow. So they were getting 12% more power just off the back from the side with the reflective uh, ground. So if you're gonna do bifacials, definitely, you know, it's a good idea to do a ground mount with some reflective surface. Or if you've got a flat roof with a white surface, then that works too. A lot of uh, companies are doing that. They get a white roof and they put these on a tilt. Voila, they get more power. So that's the biggest panel I know of available to DIYers in the United States of America right now, 290 each, or if you're buying a full crate, because they're so big, they pack these like a refrigerator vertically, as you can see. They all look like refrigerator boxes. Yeah. <laughs> With a door. This, look at this, they put Velcro on the door. We have to open it like our, well, I forgot. I, I know your, that. your, your, they just go dark. Anyway, uh, so we've still got seven pallets of these, seven crates, uh, and uh, they're here until they're gone. I don't know if we're getting any more, but they've been popular. We started with 13 crates. Okay, over here is a US made 460 watt. This has been one of our best sellers. Uh, 460 watt mono, and uh, made in Minnesota, eh? And we sell these for 175 each, or a full pallet like those of 26 panels for 4,300. Some of the pallets have 27 panels on them. Just add 165 bucks if you're buying one with 27. Okay, we got a lot of those. Those are new with warranty, by the way. All these new ones have warranty and are eligible for the 30% federal tax credit. Okay, that includes these. These. To my understanding, these are the first bifacials made on U.S. soil, okay? This is a Helene 540 watt bifacial. Hey, yeah, if we could, if you can if you lift it up, if you can, just a little bit so I can see the light coming through it. You see the light coming through it? Oh, yeah. It's okay. So these, Helene made these. For people want to make a patio cover, gazebo, or, or some pretty, you know, outside, some kind of a cover, whether it's carport, whatever, so you can see a little sunlight through it. So it's a very pretty panel. The back side's beautiful, the front side's beautiful, and, and it lets light through. So uh, all you companies out there that want to build a good looking solar carport on your parking lot, this is an excellent choice. It is bifacial, so you will catch some of the light, the reflection off the ground, uh, but it's also a pretty looking panel from both backside and front side. You can see the backside is all just blue. It's blue and clear. It's a gorgeous panel. You want to turn one around? You can just flip it. And then, so here, let's lift. So this would be the side you'd see the bottom of that patio cover carport. Gorgeous panel. I say the prettiest panel we have in the warehouse. Those uh, sell for 230 each, or if you're buying a crate of 28, uh, seems to me that was like 60, I know it's over 6,000. I don't remember the number right now, but we give you a break if you're buying a full pallet of 28 or, or more. But uh, so call me on this, but individually 230 each. Over here is the used panel section. Well, one of the two used panel sections. This is the mixed lot 
where we've got some Solar World 240s, some Ying Li, some Neva 265s, a whole bunch of different stuff. A bunch of different panels. This is kind of the mismatch of different lease returns. See, out west, you get these companies that do these long-term solar leases. And when the people sell the house and move out, sometimes the people buying the house don't want the solar panels on it. And so the lease company has to take them back. After a while, they get a warehouse full of 12 of these, 16 of those, 14 of these, and they're used panels now. And uh, after a while, somebody like us gets a call, hey, make us an offer and get all these out of our warehouse. <laughs> so we end up with this mishmash of used panels, anything from a 215 watt Kia Sera up to we've got some 295 watt Trinas over there. Uh, I think we still have some LGs in here, some 250s, and some various Ceneva monos, 265s, and keep walking. There is a, let's see, that's a Sharp 235 that was made in Memphis, Tennessee, back when Sharp had their factory there. But that's our last one. We had more of them. They all got sold. This is a black frame, black back sheet. What is this, a Hyundai? Yeah, that's a Hyundai. And uh, we've got a lot of those. Back around 2012-ish, there was a bit of a shortage of mono cells in the industry. And if you want an all black panel, well, you gotta start with a mono cell because they're black, all of them are obviously blue. But because of the shortage, a lot of companies started doing these black back sheet with blue poly and black cells. So it looks so oh, it's dark panel. I wouldn't say all black, but it's kind of navy on black. So we got a bunch of those. And then we've got the standard, you know, poly with white back sheet, black frames. We have some silver frames in here, different sizes. That's a Hanwell 245 there. Oh. Just come by and look at all the panels. I'm not going to go through all these right now. <laughs> come and plenty. pick. It's like being at the fruit market. Just go through and look what you like. Pick it. <laughs> and, and, you know, if you want to test some outside with your multimeter, you're welcome to. Uh, pick the ones you like. Pay me before you leave the farm. So, Definitely got plenty to choose from. Yeah, we do. We do. Just stacks and stacks of... Um, we should go talk about the inverters. Yeah, yeah. He also offers inverters too. We're gonna to check those out. Okay, so for inverters, this is the one I currently have, and uh, it is the Infinisolar 6KW hybrid inverter. It Hybrid means it can do both grid tie and off grid. It's UL ETL listed, which means it can spin the meter backwards. A non UL, non ETL listed inverter cannot legally spin the meter backwards. This one, you can actually spin the meter backwards, uh, but you don't have to. You can do a parallel system with it where you're just using uh, the grid for backup battery charging. Come on over here. And there's where utility plugs in off the breaker panel, but it's coming in there. Then that goes back to the breaker panel there on your load. There's generator backup if you want to use generator backup too. Uh, solar panels go in there. Communication, batteries, you can use any kind of battery you want, whether you're getting the golf cart batteries at Costco or some used batteries or my lithium iron phosphate power wall batteries, whatever kind of batteries you want, it'll work with. You can tie two or three of them together for larger systems like 12KW, 18KW. I sell these for $1,800 a piece, so two of them is only $3,600. bucks, And that's a lot cheaper than, let's just say, some other brands out there that are much more. And since this is UL ETL listed, it's not going to void your homeowner's insurance. Uh, what does that have to do with the price of beans in China? Here's the thing. Off-grid, there's a lot of cheap off-grid inverters out there that are not UL listed. Do they have to be UL listed to be off-grid? No, they don't but your homeowner's insurance might care 
might check with them because my understanding is most, if not all, homeowner insurance policies uh, will not only void the claim that comes in, but void an entire policy if they if their adjuster finds a non-UL listed electrical device tied to your breaker pin. Uh, so it's kind of important that you know ahead of time if your inverter is going to void your homeowner insurance or not. Now this one will not because it's UL ETL listed. That's why this one can work as a grid tie spin the meter backward system or an off completely off grid system or a parallel system, whichever way it'll do all three. Uh, now, if you, in fact, if you want to program it uh, to do a combo, like where it's first job in the morning when the solar panels wake it up and say, okay, we got power, what do you want to do with it? Well, let's fill up the batteries for a while until they say, burp, we're full. And then after they say they're full, if nothing but the refrigerator is running, go ahead and start spinning the meter backwards. Then it will do that. But you don't have to do that. It's all in the programming. You can ch you can change that at will, whatever way you want to set it up. Okay, and you can do that daily. Change it whatever way you want. Uh, so that's a six kW. Like I said, you can add two, tie two, three, four, all the way up to nine together for larger systems, and they'll all shake hands and act as one inverter and charge controller. It's got a built-in. 7500 watt max charge controller take up to 600 volts dc okay and uh that's higher i understand than any of the competitors as far as the 600 volt dc so that's my inverter and then the batteries 1800 bucks each you can tie two of them together and they'll shake hands and act as one 12 kw inverter that's 3600 versus a whole lot more money for a soul arc. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are lithium iron phosphate power wall batteries. This is the in the inside rated version. It's 200 amp hours at 48 volts. Okay. Uh, it's got the wall mounts right there. Use only A grade cells. This is a 6,000 cycle battery uh, with a 10 year factory warranty. Okay customer service in Nevada. So this is an extremely good battery. This is the kind of battery you plug in, turn on, you program it, walk away for a decade plus. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, does cost more than the golf cart batteries at Costco, but you're not gonna be replacing them in two years either. It's, you put it in and that's it. So that's the interior rated version. I have the exterior rated version that has an environment, environment control system built into it. This one's heavier and I'm not gonna lift it out of this case. But basically, we're selling these for the same price if you want one. They've even put these in Alaska, I kid you not, and they put that inside a styrofoam box in Alaska and they'll, they've will they been running them all winter. There's over 2,900 of these installed in the United States now. And they've had, the only problem I know of, one came back because they reversed the, the guy who was installing it reversed the uh, positive and negative. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. Other than that, they've all been good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I got a lot more solar panels, 490s back there. There's, they got a lot of stuff. So yeah, any questions? Well, I'll thank you very much. Thank you for everything else. I think, I think. Yeah. Okay. Might want to give your address. Yeah. Okay. How can they contact you? Okay, uh, the address of the warehouse. Now listen, don't just pop in here because it's a logistics storage warehouse. Other companies are storing stuff in here. Call in advance. And so you gotta call me in advance, let me know when you're coming so I can get here and meet you. Otherwise they won't let you in the door. So uh, my phone number is 916-676-3752. Okay, and you can text or call that. Uh, email sunnydayenergy at gmail.com that's easy for everybody to understand just like it sounds sunnydayenergy at gmail.com uh, the address of the warehouse is 2006 Hoyt Avenue H-O-I-T-T -T, in Knoxville Tennessee so uh, but just like I said call or text me when you want to come or email me that's good too and uh, let me know what day they're open weekdays I have been known to grab some solar panels for customers that couldn't make it on a weekday and needed to meet me on a Sunday. 
I have been known to bring my own pickup on a Friday and pile in their Ceneva panels or whatever they were buying into the back of my pickup and meet them on a Sunday and just, you know, hand load everything and, you know, cash on the spot. So I can do that if it's set up. Obviously, I need to know that Friday morning before I jump in my car or pickup. I need to know that I'm jumping in my pickup that morning. So you need to let me know, preferably Thursday night, if that's what you want to do, okay? So anyway, yeah, give me a call. Uh, email me if you want to get an inventory list of what we got sitting here. Uh, rather than coming down, you can pick ahead of time and say, okay, I'm going to want 12 of those. That's fine. Just email me that. I'll send it to you. Okay? Thank you very much. God bless.